Hi, how are you? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic Do Overhaul. Now, twice I tried to do some quickie hauls because either my camera was full or it was just that hand on my tablet. Worked out fine. <laughs> Once I kind of figured out which way to look. But they wouldn't upload. I guess you need like 10 zillion gigabytes of memory for it to actually get to YouTube. It would keep going, preparing, preparing. Soft, they're kind of good, so I can't screw it. <laughs> so, <laughs> some of these things were in those previous hauls that were too good not to mention. And just sort of random other bits and bobbles. So, on my normal <clears throat> voyage today to my normal haunts <laughs> and brain. Well then, uh, went to the well today for no particular reason other than I just sort of show up there. And this was in the sort of, there's a carriage that's kind of off to the side of stuff they're just putting out. So, you know, if you go Monday, there might be new stuff Tuesday because there's always like something going on. So I picked these up for 50 cents a piece. And they're just simple pieces of tree which kind of kind of weird because this was an oval tree <laughs> it just smells of wood and I picked up two of them okay this one's a little more round hmm I don't know which one I'll use maybe this one and you know I go to pay for them and she's like yeah, I'm curious you know what are you gonna do with them well I figured I'm not quite sure what to do with the second one but I love of course I like trees in general but I kind of prefer them alive and coming out of the ground so it kind of, kind of pains me to know that this is now a dead tree. But it's like, I don't know if this came from the same tree, maybe because it's the same, um, you know, bark. But it's like you're holding a time capsule. I mean, nobody, I don't think anybody stops to think about it anymore. You know, those big ass huge trees, and I'm not just talking redwoods, just go in your backyard. I mean, you're looking through living history. <laughs> I mean, the ends aren't, you know, not that far off. So it's like if you count the rings, you know, that's how old this tree is. Yeah, the little baby tree ones. <laughs> so it's like, probably a good 50, 60 years old. I mean, there's quite a few rings here. So, you know, I don't want to, like, do anything to them because I feel like it's disrespecting the tree. So I just told her, you know, I'm just going to use it as a placemat. So it should just be enough room to put these little, little kind of things I have set right here in the middle. And it's just just neat it's just I love tree <laughs> and I there was a tree at mother's house that I guess was either going to fall down or somehow disturb a car at some point and dad had cut it down and I he cut slight slices just like this but it was like a little bitty tree and for the life of me I don't know what I did with them stupid me I probably threw them away like that part of me that was like you don't need these you haven't done anything with them and the rest of me is like what the fuck did you do that for so <laughs> They may still be floating around, I don't know. And this is why I have so much stuff. It's like that one time you toss something, it's that one damn thing you need. <laughs> so, placemat. That, I don't know. <sighs> so that made me happy. And this is one of the, the do-overs. And this is just too adorable, and I don't know if the lighting is going to be any better than the other thing. And this I got for 50 cents, because I, I picked it up, and usually this type of stuff is like 2 $3, because they're stupid. And I'm like, 50 cents? It's so cute! It's a little birdhouse. Even though Birdie's beak is kind of gone. But, you open it up, there's the rest of the family! The birds are in the birdhouse! And it's even finished, kind of on the bottom. Like it's an actual tree. So you've got mama bird, and you got your baby bird... I just thought that was so freaking adorable. I don't know where it's from originally, or... But it's just such a cute little idea. So I hope, I'm hoping that comes up. Hey! <laughs> Does this work any? <laughs> so that was cute. Uh, well, might as well hang that up here before I sit on you. And the next thing I got was just another little glass thingy, only to find out that I already previously got this. But uh, this actually still has the thing in it. I got it for like the clothes, 
the whole clothes because you don't want to stick whole clothes in something with like a <laughs> neck that wide so I may or may not use that for this I don't know Ooh. we already fixed the list you're not helping here and the next thing I got I just sort of came across again for 50 cents and this was made in India and I I think it's made for those little candles for that go well you may, may or may not have seen it. it has like a whirly giggy thing and then the angels ping around the thing and the fire makes it go <laughs> so I'm thinking it's for those candles but this will fit a birthday candle perfect I had gotten the wooden ones but with the wax you don't know if you're scraping wax or wood this you won't have to worry about it and it does I don't have to like stick it down with the preheated wax first it fits perfect so candle holder birthday candle holder and it's brass so I won't have to worry about you know burning anything <laughs> in case the wood sets on fire a little bit safer so that's kind of nifty too <clears throat> so <clears throat> I ran out of room, good lord okay. uh, and the next thing I got was <laughs> I don't know why I went that next lap but I just sort of I'm assuming I had like four dollars or something and I wanted to make that other dollar to get the five to get the you know stamp <laughs> so I just sort of randomly looked around again only to behold this a true mortar and pestle <laughs> is it pestle or pestle and I was looking for one of these in there at, at least like 12 to 13 dollars up to like 20 something and this is a freaking marble one this is a freaking heavy one and it had the pestle okay question which is the mortar which is the pestle <laughs> i'm thinking okay this must be the mortar this must be the pestle because if you think first you think the bowl right you wouldn't think the tool first i don't know this was only four bucks and i'm like oh uh, yeah <clears throat> no <clears throat> Catherine's on my booty here where did i put the where did i put my ghetto one? Oh, there it is mm. this is what i've been using with the giant screw yeah <laughs> you did not see giant bug coming out of there you know a giant screw that I think I probably showed you when I got it which is <laughs> you know and it's about the same size so it will take up the same and I've just been using that for trash now so to have a real one is freaking awesome <laughs> in the marble one just I mean it's just pretty I mean but it's like sturdy and I think there's like wood ones too, but if you're grinding spices, the spice guts <laughs> could seep into the wood and it kind of, you know, after a while, it's like you don't know what spice you got anymore. So, so, freaking happy. <laughs> so I have an actual mortar and pestle I can use. I usually just use it for the um, sage because I make my incense out of that, my little cone incense. And I don't know if this is the three inch or the five inch. I don't quite know. I think it must be the three inch. I don't know, but I I thought it was. It's, and it's hard to tell too how big they are online. It's like, well, what what are you measuring? So this is a nice. This is the size that I wanted too. Like, so booyah. And let's see. And as <laughs> side note, <laughs> it's kind of funny because. I try to like separate the videos now that I have a system to like you know what are the old ones what are the new ones so like the old ones are in the other room where you're all blinded then I have like the setup which was kind of that away there's like different sections so these new videos would be like nose <laughs> so it'll be because of this so woo so this this is actually bigger than I you know wanted anyways so I don't know if this is much different well, maybe I think these are smaller. I don't know. But he used the bigger one because he could you know, grab it and I have a tiny schnoz. So it was, you know. Though I think he probably could have done with like a little one because he was that much of a master. So I eyeballed these at Walmart. And I doubt I'll be using the teeny tiny ones. I think I'm going to try sticking them up here. But I'll probably be using the, the middle ones. <laughs> so that's how I'm going to rate this next group of video will be nose. <laughs> That's what, and it still feels kind of silly because it's like, 
You, you want to like brush something off your face. I don't know, but I feel complete now. So hopefully you won't see such a big thing on my schnoz. Okay, now this, yeah, I still can't believe I found it, was one that I wanted to do over and this, this had to make it into a vid. Now, I, I only know of the existence of this game because of Angry Joe, and he just did his Witcher 3 review, which was totally freaking hysterical, and the game looked awesome! So, it was kind of, it was on top, so I didn't have to bother anybody. I found this. For two bucks! This was two bucks! <laughs> Can I just gush over Geralt? <laughs> And it's like The Witcher, and I'm like, the enhanced edition, which I didn't know any what it meant until I just like saw um, a video, so it's kind of like the updated version of it. And I'm like, and it's PC. I'm a PC gamer, okay? I'm, I have tiny little hands, so I can't really manipulate a controller, so that's kind of no fun. And I like the point and click. And it goes, GameSpot.com, RPG of the Year. And I like the fact that you're one person on missions... I hate having to deal with a group, even though Crondor is like my favorite game and you're dealing with like a group of people, but it's not like a hassle. There's that, 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 that they do right. This is Geralt and his meanderings and, <laughs> and I wasn't quite sure because I figured it might be like a newer game, but it goes X, it will run on XP and Vista. What? <laughs> I have an XP PC, but I don't know if this would have fit on it. Um, that I play all my old games on, and that came from his mother. So, thank you, Leora. So, I have that one. My Windows 7, which is what I do all my editing on, that's the terabyte one. And then, my Windows 10. Because I figured, okay, I bought the laptop, came with 8.1, because that was the era that I needed it. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to risk the 10, because anything is better than 8.5.7.12. There's still, you know, things they need to iron out, but it's still better than 8.1.12. <laughs> so, downloaded this to the 7. It had a few issues. It wouldn't load, then I finally got it to load, then it kept telling me that my system wasn't good enough for it, which is like bull honky. So I kind of googled, you know, what the hell's going on? Everybody's been having the, that issue with 7. So, okay, fine, I said screw it. Moved it to the Windows 10 computer. That worked. Two patches later. <laughs> so, you have a problem with the game? Look for the patches. And it, the graphics are like Second Life. And it's like, what Second Life could be without resing. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh. Because being like the first Witcher, I thought it would be like, you know, the old style kind of games, kind of blocky. You know, I wasn't expecting much graphically, knowing where 3 was and how, like, super wonderful system you have to have to play it. <laughs> so awesome! Gorgeous! And it is a little slow. It's not quite as smooth as I would like it to be on the system. But the fact that I got it to run... So I'm at the swamps at the moment. And I'm like, just scratch the surface, and it's such an awesome game. It's just perfect, because those are the games that I like. And all my favorite games, I have been like under five bucks. Two bucks. And in, in, in with this, you get the Adjanced Edition, the actual game, a bonus disc with two extra missions, like you don't have enough time you know, to play, a disc that has two CDs worth of music, which is amazing, and like a bonus disc of them, you know, how they made the game, which is in Polish, <laughs> but uh, they do have English subtitles, so it makes me proud to be here, you know, Polish and Czech, plus the game guide you pay like 30 bucks for, that it came with the game, the MP3, if the game didn't work, was worth the two bucks alone. I should probably stop gushing around. Visit the huge city of Vizima, which is true. I'm I'm kind of stuck in Vizima. And it's like blood and gore, but it's like no worse than I've seen in any other game. So, and it was sitting there on top, and I'm like, how did somebody donate this? Maybe they played it, and it's like they've got three now, and I'm like, thank you, whoever donated this. Thank you. 
So it's like trying trying to like limit myself because I was to be spending days just playing this because there's so much to do. Oh. <laughs> okay, in the same day I got that. The whole reason I went out was to pick up these from Walmart. And I got that like well, I got the Walmart app, and since I was already set up for other things, it was just an option that was already on my phone for that, like, savings catcher. So all you gotta do is, like, type in your receipt. You know, your cat food got me these, basically. <laughs> so if anything goes on sale, you get the money back. I picked up these. Oh. Now, <clears throat> how can you not love unicorns? Seriously. <laughs> so, I, I've, I have tiny little hands, so they are kind of hard to shuffle. Okay, what unicorn wants to tell me here? Decide. It is time to clearly make a decision about what you want. Decided. So, these are oracle cards, which I don't, I don't really consider them similar to tarot, but you can kind of do the same thing. For me, it's like the thought of the day. So I kind of shuffle them, and I pick out a unicorn, and you know, it'll tell me something, and are, are these things not freaking gorgeous? I mean, the artwork in and of itself is totally gorgeous. And look look at the back when you do that with a unicorn. <laughs> okay. And they're very happy cards. Of course, how many evil unicorns do you know? It goes, relax, everything's okay, share, listen to your true feelings. And... I was thinking before, I think I was watching a video or something, you know, this would be great for, like, a parent to give their kid. You know, not maybe just as the pack, well, maybe it's the pack, but, like, if your kid is having a problem, you could, you know, let's see. Mm. Let's see. Imagine, or <laughs> maybe exercise or simplicity, pets, family culture, wish upon a star, I mean... Happy thoughts, that's a good one. You know, just a kind of place where the kid would find it. And just be sort of a, a reminder or something to kind of... Or even like, relax, everything's okay. Just a, a happy thought for them. Or a reminder of something without having to like bash, you know, whatever over their heads. Even, you know, younger kids. Like, practice. You know, you don't have to like, get on their case. Just be a nice little... Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. So, these are so gorgeous. So I paid like 10 bucks for these. I think they're worth every penny. <laughs> and I had made, um, when I got my other cards, I had made some of these little pouches. And these fit perfect. So th these are my happy thought for the day, because it's like, I, I, I don't know why lightning bolts don't come out my ears. Because I'm not exactly a happy thought person, so this <laughs> has been kind of helping, you know. You know. Stop that. <laughs> so if I had my happy unicorn thought for the day. Ooh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm like, 19 minutes. Oh, shit. So maybe I'll break this up into two. Yeah, I'll probably do that. <laughs> I'll spare you the suffering. So I'll cut this one short, and I'll put the rest in a separate video. Thank you for watching. Do remember to comment, rate, share, and subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. Like another job for Geralt the Witcher. <laughs>